So we can put that 3D Pythagorean theorem into use here uh, with the uh, exercises in front of us. So we've got two vectors that are given to us, R and S. We can see them written in their component form. And so we want to find the magnitudes of these two vectors. So in the case of R, if we want to find what the magnitude of R is, we're going to take the components, 6 squared plus negative 5 squared plus 2 squared, and we're going to take the square root of that. So we've got 36 plus 25 plus 4. So we're looking at the square root of 65 when we add those together. And so if we push buttons on our calculator and we just round to three significant figures just because, we'll get 8.06 as the magnitude of that factor. And then we can do the same thing for s. So we can say that the magnitude of s is going to be the square root of 3, negative 3 squared, plus 2 squared, plus 7 squared, which is the square root of 9 plus 4 plus 49, which is the square root of 62, which again, if we arbitrarily round off to three places, 7.87. So we just square the individual components, add them, take the square root, and now we have an easy vehicle to find the magnitude of a 3D vector. If we want to find the magnitude of R plus S, then we're just going to take the components of R and take the components of S, add them, and then do the same thing. So R plus S in component form is going to be 6 plus negative 3 is going to be 3i. Negative 5 plus 2 is going to be minus 3j. And then 2 plus 7 gives us 9k. And so those are the components that we're going to use to find the magnitude. So for that magnitude, we'll have r plus s is equal to the square root of 3 squared is 9, plus negative 3 squared is 9, plus 9 squared is 81. So we're looking at the square root of 9 plus 9 plus 81 is 99, and then to three decimal places, 9.95. And so to close things out, we've got the magnitude of s minus r. So now we're just going to subtract those two vectors. So first of all, to get s minus r, we're going to be subtracting this direction. So negative 3 minus 6 gives us negative 9i. 2 minus negative 5 is going to give us plus 7j. And then again, 7 minus 2 gives us plus 5k. So then for the magnitude of s minus r, we've got the square root of 81 plus 49 plus 25. And so if we add those together, we get the square root of 155, 81 plus 49 is going to give us 130, 130 plus 25 gets us to 155, and then again, just taking the square root, rounding off, we'll just again arbitrarily use three decimal places here, so 12.4. So you can see finding the magnitude of a three-dimensional vector is a pretty straightforward task using the 3D Pythagorean theorem, but nowhere here have we dealt with the angle of the vector because there's just no clear way to describe it as just a single number. Instead, that information is embedded within the components that is telling us the direction, the orientation of that vector.